Hello, Julie. It's Mary Palmer. I just wanted to let you know that I've been working on your plan, and this is what's known as a concept drawing to show our ideas from the field, and then also my notes that I still have, some notes to my office, some notes to you, places we want to do sections, uh, stonework for the front, and a whole lot of good things, stepping stones and pots. So that is it in a nutshell. So as you come out the front porch, you'll go down those three treads and you'll have these big slabs of stone, they're about two by two, they're not very big. There's a stone edging along the front of the house and there's a little stone edging along this new bed that curves around so that you can have a seat here. There'll be one upper terrace seating wall and then a secondary wall which drops down. I think we decided it was about a three foot drop from here to here, but it might be more like five or six at this very corner because it gets steeper. But he basically can merge these back to the existing land. Um, but then we'll do a section through here to show the relative um, relationships. In the back there's a similar thing. We'll show the a section through here, the relative relationships with your existing deck where you want, you get rid of these, ex, these old paths, have a little landing, little steps here, 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 and here, and you've got a three foot drop down might have a few more steps here and here. Stepping stones that have a new bed line because there's that big Burford holly there. Little arch, very inexpensive. They're just so cute. Little retaining wall around, not retaining wall, excuse me, rattle works arch. I, I should put some greenery on that. So think of that as having green on it. When you go up the steps, so there's a little a vegetable garden. There's a pollinator garden at the bottom. This is probably an 18 inch wall. It's very low because we want to flatten out the backyard as much as we can. I think it would look actually quite nice to have this intermediate gap here, and it allows you to pick up the line that you have currently of this wall, connect it, and create that flat space for your um, little personal garden. Let me know if you want an arbor here or not. The view would be looking out into the woods, which I thought was kind of nice. And there would be a bench here looking across the garden. Nothing's there, that's just me trying to design. <laughs> here are your stepping stones or whatever, it can be grass plant, path down to your existing neighbor's um, exit with little steps there. Let's see if I've left anything out. Oh, this would be a pollinator's garden, backdropped against the little wooden, wooden things. And then down, the arbors. And then down here we would do some garden design along this side of the driveway uh, where your neighbor has her box and there's your hickory. And we, you know, of course this is going to be replaced with a maple where there's a brad pear now. And, oh, there was another red maple would go in here, removing this pine. Remove that pine, remove that pine, remove that pine. I think there was another pine right here.